I built a floating desk for under $50. The 2x12 lumber at Home Depot is construction grade, so I took my time to pick two of the straightest ones. I don't own a jointer, so I built a jig for my table saw to join them. There was a lot of sanding. The DeWalt cordless sander performed extremely well with 2 amp and 5 amp batteries recharged a few times to get the job done. They were cut to the length of my room using a circular saw. Again, I created a doll jig to help line the boards up for gluing. It's time to clean up my room and take down the wall-mounted laptop dock. See my other video for a build process. I'll leave a link down below. It was not easy to bring the two long boards to my office due to the sheer size. They were glued and clamped together with the help of a jaw horse and a few clamps, without which this task won't be possible. I waited 24 hours for the glue to dry. The height of the table is determined by the height of the IKEA Alex drawer. I may add one in the future. A laser level was very helpful to get the line perfectly leveled and stud centered. I used a strong magnet stud finder to locate all the studs behind the wall and it is no doubt the best stud finder I have ever used so far. I stained the surface with two light coats of coffee, all natural, because I don't want toxic fumes in my house. Then I finished them with wing wax paste, which I forgot to document here. Finally, I cut a little notch using an oscillating tool for cable access. This cut wasn't planned well and the edge looked rough even after sanding. Fortunately, it won't be visible.
to build a monitor stand to raise them to eye level and slightly tilted against the wall. They are secured by double-sided tapes MacBook Pro dock greatly improves my work experience at home by simplifying the process of connecting and disconnecting external accessories. A hard drive was also added later so the Apple Time Machine data backup is automated every time I plug in a laptop. I have four USB ports, two SD card readers, plus four ports behind the left monitor. I created a quick template for the power strip mounting under the desk with screws. All power cords HDMI USB cables are organized inside a cable sleeve. A six port USB charger and a wireless charging stand are the only two other things I leave on the table. I don't want to achieve a minimalist look by sacrificing convenience. Headphone storage under the desk. An external audio card DAC from FIO is also mounted under the desk, so I have quick access to high quality sound through a pair of Sony headphones. It holds two pairs of headphones, a wireless. Bose QC35 and the Sony MDR A1, which is wired.
The LED strip under the desk provides decent ambient lighting at night. Everything else in this office is on casters. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.